Hello. So this is going to be a review straight into a fix for the same figure. Uh, I've had him for about a week or so. I've not. I wanted to review him, and then I started messing with him. And I thought, oh wait, that's not going to work. Uh, and then I found a fix for him. I'll put a link for the video where I saw the dis uh, the fix in the description because credit where credit's due. I didn't think of this; it was someone else. So you know, that guy gets my vote. And the review is for Titans Return Brainstorm. Brainstorm? Highbrow. Not Brainstorm at all. Highbrow. And most of you will know what the problem is if you've got this figure. You'll, you'll just know what the problem is already. But he's quite cool. I actually had the G1 of this. Uh, he only had one of the guns, but I had him. And he was awesome. So having this guy again is like, wow, that's really cool. And then the niggling problem kind of killed it for me. Um, these props kind of get in the way a little bit. I mean, they're, they're quite bent down because the packaging. I might have to heat them up and straighten them, but I haven't got around to it. But, you know, they, they kind of spin until they tap each other too many times. Uh, the guns look quite cool under there. Uh, he's just a nice little thing. I mean, they're clearly the arms. There's no real hide in that. But he's quite cool. Um, he's got fall-down landing gear. And no other landing gear. Except for on the guns. But you can't use that landing gear because there's no real way of getting that to point down that I've found. Uh, another thing that's really, really bizarre is in this mode, at least, you can fold open this flap. And there's there's nothing in there. I don't... I don't... I don't know what that's for. I, I don't know what that's for. But apart from that, he is a really cool-looking helicopter thing. I mean... I don't know if this is supposed to be some kind of jet engine, because I think... Did the original have some kind of jet engine? I think he did. But, you know, he's a really cool-looking guy. I mean, look at the blades in the back there and everything. Just the, the detail's really cool. I mean, the nose with a... Um, uh, would you say that's a gun, or would that be like some kind of refueling connection? I don't know. There's vents. It, it, it's really well done. I mean, you know... Bents inside the arms there, and detail everywhere. He looks really good. He does. He looks really good. I'm trying to talk myself back up the hype. You know, really cool Transformer. Yeah, also about logo. I'm trying to talk myself back up because I was down on him for a while, and I'm literally going to do the fix on video now. So you know, I'm going to see how good he is afterwards. Opening cockpit. You can open the cockpit up. You get out the little guy whose name is Zort. I kept the card because uh, I can't remember what his name is. Zort, who uh, I have tightened a little bit with floor polish, but his legs are still a little bit loose. And uh, he's actually got a little strip of silver for his eyes. Hooray! That's neat. <laughs> Close it back up. All right. Clip it. Transformation, because it's it's not a, it's not a difficult one really. You untab the arms and bring them up. There's this little tab sticking out here, if you can see that, where my nail is, it goes into kind of a little groove in there, you can just about see, and it goes into there. And then uh, the top of the sort of kneecap pad thing goes into that little squared off piece there, if you can just about see there. So it kind of wiggles together, but it's it doesn't come loose. It just doesn't. It doesn't look like it's going to be as solid as it is. Uh, but it is pretty solid. And then you flip out the hands. Second verse, same as the ninety-eighth. I got. I was going to say first, but I got bored, so just take these off for now. Okay. Um, I'll do this bit last because that's where we get into the problems. Then you split this, bring it all the way down, fold out the heel, turn. Bring it down, heel, turn. And then you're making sure that's in, because this will get in the way of this. So bear with it. Make sure it's in, and slide it up. 
Which is quite cool. I, I was quite impressed with that. I thought it was going to do a Combiner Wars, the legs just fold up on themselves. But it didn't. So that's quite neat. Neato. Why do I say neat? I don't know. Maybe I'm being uh, ironic with myself. Who knows? And then you simply take the cockpit and fold it all the way onto the back, trying not to catch a rotor blade. And there we have the body. Now the guns, if my neighbours don't start shouting, hooray. Guns will just plug into the hands. Uh, that one's a little bit loose, actually. This one, not so much. This one, a little bit loose. I might have to do something with that. Thin coat of glue or something like that. Then you do the head mass. Sorry, Titan mass. Sorry. And he just goes in the top there. And, yeah, I mean, I wish there was a way of folding these up or clipping them into place or something, but there isn't. They're just flopping around. But there he is, and he looks pretty cool. He does look pretty good. But the problem is, this neck joint is awful. And I've just looked at it now, and the fix I've got, I'm not sure will work on that. I can try it, but I'm not sure it'll, uh, it'll work. But yeah, the, the it just it, it doesn't grip at all. The, the the head can just wriggle around in there like anything. So look at that, can I I could put something in the back that might stop it. Is that what the problem is? Come on. Sorry, I'm just filling with this trying to No there, there's there's a gap at the back that lets it slide forward too much. So I might be able to fix it. I might not. I'll have to see how this goes. Yeah, I think it's too loose at the sides as well. It's just too loose. The whole thing's too loose. And it puts me off, because it just means his head's just... Yeah. It's it's annoying. It just it really puts me off the figure, because he's a good figure. You know, you can take these and you can stick them together. There's two tabs and two slots, and they... So to go, and then they've got landing gear, and they've got these two giant pegs that don't do anything as far as I know. These two square pegs, there should be somewhere they can clip in, and they can go underneath and be landing gear, or under the nose. They don't. Unless there's something I'm missing, they don't do it. So just turn to that, and you can get the Titan Master to put his feet on the pegs inside, and sit his bum on there, and maybe you can put his hands on there, and suppose controls, and you can peg into the size of the nose. Uh, into the side of the nose of the sort of aeroplane helicopter thing. That's it. It it's not a good weapon because it doesn't even look good like that. It it doesn't even look good. So I don't I don't know. Which is a shame. Really good shame because he's got two machine guns. Why why how can you make that not cool? Uh, but you can just tab those into sides of the nose. Yep, just peg them into there for storage. And they're stored on the back. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Now, like I say, let's try and do this fix. Okay? And it's a really simple fix. Like, really, really simple fix. That's why I'm doing it. Because if it wasn't, I wouldn't be able to do it. You know uh, cheap drinks and stuff you get for kids? And you get the little straws? Like these. But you can get them in red. You know, just little cheap and nasty straws. Yeah? Basically, you just need one of these and either a knife or, in my case, I've got craft snips. So, there we go. And what you do is you just flatten off the tip of the straw. Just flatten it. Flatten it off. And try and jam it down the side of the connection. Just jam it down the side. And then you just get the clippers. Make sure you're not getting anything you don't want to lose. Ah, oh, come on, get in there. Don't mess with me now, you did it yesterday. 
and snip it off. And you can see just about, maybe, can you? There's a little bit of straw just in the side there. And then just repeat for the other side. Uh, I got another one of these figures yesterday, uh, another Titans Return figure yesterday, and he had the exact same problem. I went, right, okay, straight on YouTube, found a fix, which is this, basically. Thought, okay, I'll give that a try. Had a look, and it works. There, there are slight drawbacks to it, so it's up to you. You can try it if you want to. I'm not saying it's for everyone, but this is really easy. There's no glue, there's nothing. If you want to take it out, you can take it out. Don't pull it out. Just because I've got it on camera, it's decided to be awkward. Does that look a bit messy? Yeah, just tidy it up a bit. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I've got two little bits down the side there. I'm not sure if you can see them. Yeah, just about. Just there and there. I've got little bits down the side. Now I might. This is not one I had to do for the other figure. You know what? I'll try it first. And that will stop this opening as much, which means it should grip tighter. So if I put the head in there, yeah, it's harder to get in now because it doesn't open as much. But it does grip a lot better. Still wiggles forward quite a lot, but it's nowhere near as loose. So I might, and this is the nerve-wracking bit, it's getting it out. But they do come out. They do come out fine. It's just it feels like they're not going to. Some of those plastic uh, straws from those those little plastic straws are not the strongest plastic, so they're not going to uh, you know not going to cause much trouble. I might see if I can put a bit in there, but I'm not sure if that's going to work. This is just at the back. This is just for this one guy. Uh, see if I can flatten this properly. Okay, that's relatively flat. How wide am I going? Shoulders are in the way, and oh, stupid propellers are in the way. I get to there -ish. Okay. Okay. So I've cut a tiny bit of plastic. I, I can always pull this out. This is the good thing about this. I can always rip this out if it doesn't work. You know, there's no glue involved. I can just pull it straight out. Shove that in there. I've knocked one of the other bits out. That's in there. Stupid guns. I've knocked one of the side bits out, so bear with me. I've got to try and... Should I try and wriggle that in? I should just put another one in because I've got the whole straw behind it. Let's try and put this one back in just so I'm not being a complete prat. This has turned into a long video, isn't it, children? But hopefully this will save a lot of people the same kind of problems I'm having. Or was having, hopefully. By the time you see this, I'll have fixed it. No, let's, let's just do a new one. So get that. Shove it in. I mean, I could put some glue on this if I needed to to hold it in place, but I don't intend to. Hopefully you look and see what I'm doing, because I'm not even looking at the camera. Yay! So that's... Now, there's a piece at the back and a piece at each side. Let's see how tight this is now. Don't fight with me. Don't like that. I mean, I know I could take a file to this now and just, you know, loosen the grip a little bit, but I don't really want to have to. Come on. There we go. It's in. It's in, it's in, it's in. And. Solid as a rock. Okay. Okay. All right. And the straw has fallen on the floor. It's over there. There it is. Okay, a uh, bit nervous about getting him out though. Um, 
Or would the one at the back just do it? I don't know. I don't know. Try and get him out. Oh, he came out fine. Okay, that wasn't a problem. Let's see if I can transform it, because this is where I'm worried there's going to be an issue. Let's try. I've got it. I'm not sure if I've squashed the plastic to do it, but I have done, I have done it. Uh, it's put a dent in the plastic at the back there. Which... Just go in. Just go in. Oh, 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 nearly. If your neck wasn't so loose, I wouldn't have to be doing this, would I? Hmm? Hmm? Don't blame me. I'm not the one who set up a really shoddy neck joint. Come on, go in. Oh, man. Well, he's not damaged the head in any way. Yeah, it's, it's not damaged the head. I am. I was starting to worry about that, but it hasn't. So let's just. Ha! Huh. Head is in, and it's solid. There we go. Done. Fixed. It's it's nerve wracking to get it in there, but it's 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 pretty solid. There you go. I'm. I've fixed it. I am. I am a genius. Well, no. The the guy who did the video beforehand is the genius, and he will be in the link below. Um, guns. Guns. So you get him with the other one I've got. Just chrome dome. They're about the same size. And then I've got for some reason he's in plain mode, but I've got him. I've got stripes. Who's Really not very good, but I've got him anyway. And there's Rewind, who's the show darling, but who cares. There's that annoying person, Wheelie, who nobody likes. And then there's Clobber. My lighting is not getting that corner at all. There we go, kinda. Kinda. Yeah, that'll do. And Clobber, who for some reason decides to fall on his face. Why is he leaning so far forward? So they're my Autobots so far. That you know of. Because I went to TK Maxx yesterday. Oh yeah, you've heard the rumours in the UK. I went to TK Maxx and I got nothing. They didn't have any in my one. I was gutted. They had a broken uh, deployer's drift. Like, there's a wheel missing off it or something, and that was reduced, but I don't want it. So I went next door to Toys R Us and I got a couple of things, but you can wait for those in the next review. So, now there's a fix. Like I say, it's nerve-wracking. It is very nerve-wracking. I don't know if the plastic's going to ease up over time, or if you could want to file down the C-grip a little bit. Up to you. But it, it's fixed. His head is now solid. So I win. So, I should be ugly, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you, my headmaster companions, in the next one. Later days.